Learn how to say no to people. This two-letter word can be one of the most difficult for some people to say. If you are used to pleasing others, you will find it difficult to learn to use it. You should spend some time practicing saying it in front of a mirror. I'm sure you have someone in your life who constantly asks you to do things for them. In fact, if you do, they will most likely ask you to do the same thing on a regular basis. So here's a quick exercise to get you through the next time they ask. Make a list of what they will ask you to do and write it down. Next, prepare a few good responses that will not come across as rude, informing them that you will no longer be available to do this for them. Assume you have a friend who constantly calls to ask you to pick up their children from school. They do not call you because they are at work. They call because they are out shopping or having lunch with friends. You, as their friend, find yourself saying okay even when you have other plans. So, let's make a scenario for this. Your friend calls and asks you to pick up her children because she is stuck at the mall? You could say, you know, I'm not going to be able to do that because I have plans for this afternoon. You could say, you'll need to start picking up your own children because I have things I need to do myself, and I don't think it's fair for you to call me every time you want to go run around and don't take care of your own responsibilities. Whatever you come up with, practice saying it in the mirror until you feel you can say it calmly and confidently enough to make your point. The only consequence of always saying yes is that people expect you to solve their problems for them. They don't respect you and don't appreciate you most of the time. Oh, they'll always say thank you, and you're so wonderful, what would I do without you? But don't be fooled, these are just words to keep you on the hook. If someone knows that if they ask you for something, you can't say no, they'll expect you to do it. You become their doormat that they wipe their feet on. The only way to gain respect from others is to expect it. You are entitled to be treated with dignity. Never let anyone tell you otherwise. Now, I'm not saying you should never say yes to people who ask you to help them. What I mean is that you can't let other people use you to do everything they don't want to do for themselves. You have every right to say no if you don't have the time or simply can't stand the thought of doing what they've asked you to do. This can be difficult at first, because some people have come to expect you to always do things for them. You will need to retrain these people to your new way of thinking. If you have always said yes to someone, make sure that the first time you say no to them, they understand that things will be different from now on. They can no longer expect you to do things for them that they are perfectly capable of doing for themselves. Tell them you care about them, but that you also have a life and things you want to do to make your dreams come true. Don't worry if you fall back into the habit of saying yes once, just make sure that the next time you stand firm and confidently say no. You have the right to pursue your dreams, and if they don't respect you enough to agree, it's clear that they don't care about you or your feelings. Music